morning to all that are listening. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in to our St. Matthew uh, Sunday morning Sunday school lesson. Amen. We pray that you all have had a good week and that uh, the blessings of God has been upon you and your family. And we, we're grateful that God has given us an opportunity to come before you once again that we might share with you the word of God that God has put before us in this lesson. Amen. Before we begin, we'll ask that our, uh, Dr. Williams will, will, will bless us with song uh, that we might lift up our voices and praises unto the Lord. Amen. selection and we we pray that is a a uh, wonderful encouragement that we hold on to God's unchanging hand amen before we begin with our lesson let's open with a word of prayer father God in heaven we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our heart recognizing dear God that your 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 grace and your mercy has once again fallen fresh upon us this morning we thank you, God, for all the things that you have done, that you have provided for us, that you have brought us, that you have kept us. And we pray, God, for your continued presence in our life, recognizing, God, that as someone said, that if we ever needed the Lord, we sure do need you now. And so, Father, we pray right now that we hold on to the promise that you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us, regardless whether the situation might seem up or down. We know that you are with us. And so, Father, our hope and, our, and, 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 and all of our desires we place upon you, recognizing, God, that you said that, 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 that you have all that we need. And so, Father, we trust you. We lift up this morning, dear God, the, the under-shepherd, the overseer of this congregation. We lift him up to you, dear God. We pray that you would continue to anoint him, to bless him, to allow him, O oh, Heavenly Father, to continue to preach and teach your word that your word might go forward, that it might fall upon fertile soil, that it might grow up within us, that we might understand better how to seek and to serve you. 
And then, God, this morning we pray for those that, that, that are present in this place, and we pray for all of those that might be listening uh, into this service. We pray, God, that you would bless our people wherever they may be. Uh, Father, you know all about us, and you know all of our situations, and you know all of our ups and our downs and our troubles and our downfalls. So, Father, we, we lay it at your feet, trusting, leaning, and depending on you. Amen. Dear Father, we pray right now that you would let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be pleasing and acceptable in your sight. In the most awesome name of Jesus the Christ, we do pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. Our lesson this morning comes from the book of Isaiah. Uh, chapter 61, our printed text will be uh, verses 8 through 11 and chapter 62, verses 2 through 4. Amen. Our topic today is the Lord love justice. Amen. Our duck topic says that what goes around comes around. Amen. I don't know, but for me, that's a little cliche-ish, but I, 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 I get the meaning. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I, I, I believe that, that what we're trying to, to communicate is that God will do exactly what he said he would do. Amen. Amen. I, I printed text come, but I want to read to you first the, the, the first few verses of chapter 61. I think that it kind of puts things in perspective. At least it did for me. It said, in, in verse 1 it says, the, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and opening of the prison to them that are bound. Amen. God, God said that uh, Isaiah is saying that God has anointed me to preach good tidings. In other words, God had appointed me to bring this message to you. We're talking to Israel, which has, who has been in captive for some time now, and, 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 and God left them there for a while, so much so that, that to men it seemed like that they would never be delivered. Amen. But, but God now, that their time uh, uh, of, of punishment has come to an end, and God is about to do what God said that he would do. He would restore them, amen, back to the land and to, to, to the place that he had promised unto them. But just like uh, uh, it, 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 it brought me in the mind of the situation that we're in now, though it may be difficult, I, I believe that it is God's desire that as we come out of this, that, that we come out better than we did when we went in. God, God has, has brought them through and God has allowed them to see and, and go through many things. But, but now it's time for, for God to restore them, amen, back to their rightful place. And our lesson topic, it, 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 our lesson today began at verse 8, and, and it talked about it. It says, for the Lord love jump judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct thy work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. For the Lord, for I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. I, I, don't, don't, I, I know you've tried to dress it up and bring it to me as, as offering, but I, I want to, God is, is reminding us that he, 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 he recognizes true praise when he sees it. Right. He, he, he's saying that, that don't, don't, don't bring it to me as lifting praises to me, and when in reality what you're searching for is to be recognized as Sunday's best. It has nothing to do with praise unto me, but you're trying to please the people. Amen. God says, don't, don't, don't bring me burnt offerings and, 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 and rob something, amen, to bring it to me as if it is true, that it's yours, that it's really an offering. But he said that I will direct what they'll work in truth. God says that, that he's telling Israel that I, you, you've been in this place for a while now, but I'm going to bring you out. But I'm going to bring you out, and, and, and when I do, I, I need you to understand that I need you to be real. And, and God is, is, is speaking the same thing to us that, that we're in, I believe, in a time uh, where uh, God is going to be restoring, and in his restoring, uh, there will be redemption. I believe that what God is, is demonstrating to us, much as he did to Israel, they've been in bondage for a long time. And, and as I said to many, it seemed like that their bondage would never end. And in fact, there were generations after generations that came and went. 
and, and, and saw no end to their plight. But, but even though they hadn't heard for God, from God for a minute, God, God had not forgotten about them. God didn't go back on his promise. He, he said that he would forever be with them. But, but Isaiah said that now God has anointed me to, to preach this gospel, to preach this word of you about good tidings unto the meek. And he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and opening of the prison to them that are bound. God, God, the, the word uh, reminds us that, that God said that in due time, the first will be last and the last will be first. I, I don't know about you, but it talks about here about being in bondage, about being locked up, being in prison. And I, 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 I thought about it as I read through this. I've never been uh, in prison, but I've been locked up. I've been bound. I've been, been, been held captive by things. And, 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 and I thank God that some of those things that, that had me bound, that, that he, has, he has brought me out and released me from those things. And when God does that, God has not only uh, that, that when, when this talks about here about judgment, oftentimes I've thought about judgment is the punishment. But God doesn't stop with the punishment. God is a redemptive God. That the, that the consequences of disobedience, that what, what Israel has been dealing with, now God says that, that I will bring you out and I will make you better than you were. And so God also does with, with the healing, with the, with, with, with the bringing out and bringing through and the renewing and the restoration. It says, and, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles. God says, I'm, I'm going to use you. I'm going to use you in a way that those that don't know me, those that don't recognize me, those that, that, that may have thought that they didn't have any, I, I'm going to use you to demonstrate to you that, that, that I am God. I'm going to put you in a situation that seems impossible. And I'm going to let you stay there for a minute so not only you but them will believe that it's just, just the way life is going to be. But in due time, I will bring you out. I will restore you. And I will use you to demonstrate to the world the power of serving a true and a living God. He says that, that the seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. And, in other words, Israel, I'm, I'm going to use you to demonstrate my power, not because you are so good. See, because when I created you, I knew that you were a hard-headed people. I, I knew that you were a disobedient people. But, but I, I'm going to use you to demonstrate that I can bring you from the darkest places. I can deliver you from those things that you thought had you bound. And I thank God this, this morning that, that the, the Lord loves justice. That the Lord loves to make things right. The Lord loves when we do things incorrectly. And in this situation, he, he's speaking uh, uh, primarily to those that are in positions of authority. And when we're in authority over other people, uh, God requires that those that are in authority exercise that, that exercise true justice in the administration of that authority. Hey, Amen. Don't use your authority over others in order to keep your thumb on them. But 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 in order that that we in leadership, our our responsibility is to uplift. It is to restore those that have strayed away, that have been lost, to encourage those that are striving, to, 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 to encourage those that are in the struggle, that, that, that wake up every morning and try to make it a better day. Amen? Amen. Not to oppress, but to uplift and encourage. Amen? So, so God is saying that, that your seed shall be, I'll make it known. And they said that they, they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. God will know. God will use y your, your situation, and he'll let people see you in, in what seems to be an impossible situation. But the next time they see you, restore it. And then you can testify to somebody about the power, the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God. He, that God said that I, I will show them, use you to demonstrate that you are blessed and that the blessing came from me. Amen. Put you in a situation where, where the doctors, you've exhausted all of your help. 
You couldn't find a doctor that could cure your ailment. You, you couldn't find a lawyer that was smart enough to get you out of your mess. Amen. But, but I, I will restore you. I will put you back in, a, in your rightful place. And everybody will know that it was only because of me. Only because of our love. Because as our topic says, the Lord loves justice. Amen. And, 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 and in this sense, justice is a, is a, is a, is a, is a positive thing. Justice is, 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 is not necessarily getting what you deserve. Amen. But getting what you get according to God's grace and God's mercy. Amen. Sometimes I often hear people that are demanding justice. But I think to myself, sometimes we don't really understand what justice really is. Because if justice were to be served, if you were to get what it is that you deserved, uh, we wouldn't seek justice so much. Amen. We wouldn't scream that, that we want justice. I, I, I've come to understand that, that I believe that this just God is true to his word that he loved us. The Bible says that even we were yet enemies, yet he loved us. Amen. So I believe in, in God since his justice is that to, 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 to adhere to the original plan that all might be saved. Amen. So God gives us an opportunity over and over again to get it right. And so they've been brought out of their captivity and that, that, that the Cyrus the king had allowed them uh, 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 by the grace and by the anointing, by the touch of God that had caused him to do something that was unusual, that, that to many didn't make any sense, to, to release them out of bondage so they, they might go return to their land, that he, God might gather them up from all the places where they were scattered and return them to the place where they might uh, finish rebuilding the temple. And the many, as I said, that to them it didn't make any sense what Cyrus did. But, but, but I've come to understand in my life that oftentimes the things that God does doesn't make much sense to me. But, but I've come to the realization that I don't spend much time now wondering about why. I just give him praise. Thank you. I don't know why you did what you did. Amen. But I give you praise. I thank you because you did it. Somebody said because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Not so much for what you did, but because of who you are. Amen. That, that, that you are God, that you are God of all creation. Amen. That, 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 that you, are, you are the overseer of all things. That nothing happens that, that happens that is out of your preview. So I, I just give you praise, honor, and glory. Amen. That when we wake up in the morning, amen, with a reasonable portion of our health and strength, I, I don't, even though the, the aches and the pains are still there, my eyes are open and the blood is yet running warm in my veins. That's justice. Yes, to me, God's grace and God's mercy has fallen fresh upon me once again this morning. So God in his restorative and his redemptive uh, mindset has begun to, to release Israel from their bondage that they might go and finish the work mm -hmm. that they had started. Amen. Oftentimes we, we, we get distracted in what we're trying to do for God because the, sometimes the drumbeat of the world gets to be so loud. And if we're not careful, we, we, we will find ourselves marching to the beat of a different drum. Amen. Every now and then I think it's, it's a good thing that, 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 that everything comes to a halt. To give us an opportunity to, to readjust the lens through which we're looking at the world. I heard one preacher said that, 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 that it, 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 it ain't what you see, it's just how you view what you see. Amen. God has been good all the time. But sometimes my troubles have blinded me to the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God. When I found myself saying, oh, woe is me. Amen. But I'm glad that now that, that I know him better, I quickly find myself returning to the praise. Thank you, God, whatever condition I find myself in. It's just another opportunity for you to demonstrate that you're God. Amen. So, so in this text, he, he said that, that uh, they are the seed which the Lord has blessed, and I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Regardless of my circumstance, regardless of our situation, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. Jo Job said, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away, bless it. Be the name of the Lord. 
Uh, amen. And so, so in, in this text, it, 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 it talks about, it says, For he that clothed me with the garments of salvation, he hath covered me with the robe of righteousness. Amen. And, 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 and so that, 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 that when, you, when, when you look at me, you, you'll only see my glory. You don't have to see my story because my story doesn't look all that pretty. Uh, so, sometimes if you know my story, you wouldn't want to have anything to do with me. So God covers me. Amen. He said that, 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 that he, he, with the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decked it himself with ornaments and that the bride adorned herself with jewels. In other words, God said, I'm going to bring you out. Not only am I going to bring you out, I'm not going to bring you out all messed up. I'm not going to leave you toe up from the floor. I, I'm, I'm going to dress you up. Amen. So you'll be, 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 be fitting to stand in the presence of the king. I, I'm, I'm going to dress you up so the whole world know that you are mine. I don't know about you, but I don't want all, anything of mine to walk around looking raggedy. Right. Amen. Amen. I, I, I don't want anybody to see those that, that, that are under my care. Amen. Walking around as though God has not blessed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It has nothing to do with, with, with bragging or, 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 or showing out or showing off. It's just demonstrating that God has been good. God said, I'm going to dress you up so when they look at you, the last time they saw you, they, they, they thought in their mind, I, won't, I, I probably won't ever get to see him in this life again. But the next time they see you, you were standing upright, giving praise to God. Somebody, I had, so, so, somebody said, you, you sure do look good. <laughs> Amen. And I, so that makes me know that I must have been looking raggedy the last time. <laughs> you, you saw me. But, but all praises yeah. unto God. I don't, I don't know about you, but I've got some experience. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. With being brought from being raggedy yeah. to being restored. Amen. God said, I'm going to bring you. I know you've been in bondage and you were in bondage by your own actions. Yes. Amen. God, we sometimes with a situation we find ourselves in, even though we're crying out, Lord, uh, why me? The Lord said, you know why you. You, 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 you know exactly why you're in the situation you're in. You know why you got high blood pressure because they told you to stop eating that stuff, but you did it anyhow. Amen. Why me, Lord? Why you got heart trouble? Because they told you. Amen. This will cause heart disease. But you, you, you were young and you were strong and you thought that you were in the, I ain't talking about y'all, I'm talking about me. You thought you were indestructible. Right. Amen. You, you thought it would be, but, but I heard somebody sing a song the other day and said it won't be that way for long. Amen. You'll be young and strong for a little while, but, but oh, uh, somebody said by and by. Yeah. Uh, amen. Time will catch up with you. Uh, amen. But, but I'm so glad that even in my bondage, God says that I am yet a deliverer. You, you, you might sometimes, have you ever been in a storm that seemed like it, it, it would go on and on and on? It, it, it seemed like it, it, it never would end. Uh, Brooke Benton said it seemed like it was raining all over the world. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where it, it seemed like no matter where you looked, there was trouble on every side and you saw no way out? Hey, man, I, 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 I've been there. But I'm so glad on the other side of my problem that I recognized that it was God that brought me through. And if I had not been in that dire situation, I wouldn't understand how to appreciate yes. the blessings of God. Yes. Amen. In, in, in our life, we go through things. Yes. We go through difficulties. But God said, I'll dress you up like a bride adorned for, her, for the groom. I, 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 I'll bring you out of that situation where it looked like there was no help and no hope. I, I don't know, but, 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 but I, I've been in that dark place. Amen. Well, I heard one preacher the other day said where, where it looked like over there was better than what's over here. Yes. It, it looked like that what was over there, that, that going on had to be better. I don't know about you. If you've been through so much trouble on this side, so much difficulty, so much pain, so much heartache, sometimes you look around and it's, it seems difficult to find encouragement anywhere. But, but I, I want to remind us this morning that the God of our salvation has not changed. He's still God. He, he's still a restoring God. He's still a, a blessing God. 
He, he, he is a God of, of not only breakthrough, he's a God of bring through. Yeah. Amen. He'll bring you through whatever it is that you're going through. He says, for the earth bringeth forth her bud. And as the garden calls it the things that are, are sown in it to spring forth. So the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. In other words, God says, I'm going to use you to demonstrate to the whole world, to demonstrate to everything. To me, I, I take that to mean that, that, that God said, I'm going to use you, and even in your difficulty, to demonstrate to the world my goodness, to demonstrate to the world my grace and my mercy, to demonstrate to the world I'm going to use you. That, that's why it talks about letting our light shine. Amen. Letting our light shine in this world of darkness. Letting our light shine. And I, I, I want to encourage us this morning to be encouraged. That sometimes it seems like that we're in bondage and that the bondage will go on forever. But, but, but I read somewhere that it said weeping might endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Amen. So if we'll just hold on just a little while longer. Amen. If we'll hold on to our faith. Hold on to what has brought us. It, 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 if I had not gone through some things. See, every now and then, I, I don't spend a whole lot of time dwelling in the past, but every now and then, I find it, 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 it necessary. I find it needful. I find it helpful to take a quick look back uh -huh. to see where he brought me from. Uh -huh. And that encouraged me to let me know that, that now what I'm facing, that I can overcome that as well. That long as I keep my hand in his hand, long as I keep praising, long as I keep recognizing, long as I wake up in the morning and say, God, thank you for one more chance. Thank you for another opportunity. I'll take the pain. I'll take the aches. I, 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 it don't mind I get out of bed a little slower, but you still let me get out of bed. Amen. My, my, my steps are a little, a little shorter, but thank you, Lord, for my short steps. Every now and then I have to pause what I'm doing to catch my breath, but thank you, God. Then I still got breath. Yes, uh, amen. I can't, I can't, can't my, that my, my wife and my daughter told me the other day they were going for a walk. And for a moment, I was tempted to go with them. <laughs> but I'm reminded that a man got to know his limitation. Yeah. Amen. And, and, and <laughs> but I know where God has brought me from. Yeah. Amen. I know what God has brought me through. So I'm satisfied. Yeah. Amen. With why I am. I, I know that I ain't all that I ought to be, but I thank God that I'm farther along than what I used to be. God said, I'll bring you out. I, I promised that I'm going to restore you now the, the covenant that I made with Abraham. See, because God did not forget the promise. He, he, he's a God that, that, that does not forget and he keeps his promise. And now that now you are ready. See, sometimes the things that we desire, the things that we want, the things that we think we need, we're not yet ready to handle those things. God is a patient God, and God knows that, that sometimes we got to go through some things. I believe sometimes, like Job, that you have to understand uh, 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 loss. You have to understand uh, uh, what, it, what it means to be without in order to appreciate the blessings that God has given. In order to appreciate uh, your prosperity, you have to understand what it means to not have much. You have to understand what, 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 it, what it means, amen, to sit down at the table and make a meal out of almost nothing. And then you can appreciate what, 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 what the days when God has blessed you so much that, that you have difficulty deciding what it is you want to eat. Amen. God is a good God. He, he, he has brought them out. He has delivered them. He's ready to restore them. And he said that, that, that what he said, he will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all nations. When, when you've been restored, when you've been redeemed, when you've been brought out of your situation, you ought to tell somebody. We ought to be willing to share with the whole world the goodness of God. I, I wouldn't be any good telling your story, but I can sure tell you about mine. I can tell you about, about a little boy that grew up on a dead end street. Mm -hmm. People said it wouldn't amount to nothing. Uh, amen. But I've come to, to understand that God will find you wherever you are. Uh, amen. God could use you. 
Hey, man, you don't have to be uh, 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 on Hollywood Boulevard. God will find you on that dead end street and, and say, I got work for you to do. Hey, man, if you're willing, if your faith is strong enough, hey, man, I, I'm willing to use you. Amen. To, to, for, for the upbuilding, the ongoing of my kingdom. So I want to encourage us that no matter what situation you find yourself in. And I found out that, that I, I realized that the work that we do for God, whatever it may be, the world might categorize it. Some folks, they call important. Some folks, they, they put us in on levels and category. But my Bible said that the things that have done for God are those things that will last. So, so there in my book, there's no small things. If it's done for the glory of God, for the uplifting and the ongoing of God's kingdom, it, it, it is powerful in the eyesight of God. Amen. So our, our lesson today is, is a powerful lesson in that it brings us about, it helps us to understand that the Lord loves justice. And those that practice injustice, I, I don't worry about them anymore. I, I, because I know God, because I've got an experience what God said, either you're going to try to handle it yourself or you're going to trust me. And I'm glad that I made a decision to just trust God. And I want to remind you, I want to let you know that if you let God handle it, it'll sure enough be handled. Amen. Because, because if you try to do it, see, even though uh, the, the oppressor, the one that is practicing injustice, amen, they hurt your feelings, they break your heart, they cause tears to fall from your face, and sometimes uh, 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 our, 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 our uh, handling of it is, 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 is in a payback mode. It, it's in a, I, I'm going to hurt you like you hurt me. But, but God said, if, you, if you'll let me deal with it, amen, he said, he said it's all right, I, I know you're going to get upset, but I don't give you permission to sin. I don't give you permission. And God said that, that even though, uh, further on in the scripture, it talks about how that, that even though I allowed uh, your captors to take you captive because of your disobedience, I didn't give you them permission to mistreat you. Even though I gave, them, uh, gave you into their hands, I didn't give them permission to treat you unjustly. Amen. So those that be, be, be warm, be, in, be, be, be mindful of those that are in positions of authority. When you misuse your authority, God is watching. Amen. God is watching and heaven keeps a perfect record. And, and we heard it to a close here. It says that and the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord shall name. The scripture doesn't say what that new name will be. But for me, that my, my new name is called Redeemed. My new name is called restored. My new name is called that I've been changed from the creature that I used to be and, and to the creature that I am now. Not, not that Paul said that I have not yet apprehended. In other words, I still had not got it all. I still fall short of the glory of God. Every day I have to pray and, and repent for my sins. But I thank God that I've been redeemed, that I've been restored, that, that I've been given a, an, another opportunity to spend eternity with the Lord. He, he said that, that, that by a new name with the mouth of the Lord shall name you. In other words, man can't name you. I don't care what they call you, don't make you that. It, it don't, don't make any difference what category they put you in. It, it doesn't matter where they try to say that you ought to stay in your place. I, I'll tell you, no man knows what my place is. None but the Lord. Amen. And so, so we wait for the God, for the Lord to do what he said. Thou shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of God. In other words, we'll be like a crown of jewels. Amen. We, we, we're going to be dressed up. God said they men might call you nothing. Somebody wrote a song that said, I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody that can save anybody. Amen. That, 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 they, they might call you you're nothing, but God says, I'm going to dress you up, put a crown of glory upon your head. Yeah. Amen. And those that despise you is going to recognize my glory that has fallen upon you. The, those that, that ain't seen you in a while say there's something when they see you anew, they say that there's something different about you. Amen. There's been a change. You talk different. You, you sound different. There's a new lock. You got a new countenance about you. That's what being redeemed is all about. 
when we've been restored, when we've been brought out of our situation. Amen. God, uh, the God that loves justice is a restorative God. He's a redemptive God. He will bring you out. He will show justice in his sense. Not just punishment, but, but restoration. Amen. So I praise God and I thank God for he does. I'm, thank, I'm glad that, that we have a God that loves justice. So I don't worry about those that despitefully misuse me. I don't worry about revenge anymore. I can lay down that night and go to sleep and not worry about what my enemy is doing. Because although I'm not there, I know God is listening. I know God sees the plans and the traps that they're laying for you. And God knows and God has the ability. Somebody said that he leads and guides me all around. Amen. My God is a righteous God. He's an all-knowing God. So I, I don't worry anymore about those that plan against me, that lay traps for me. God will handle that part. My part is, for, is to keep my hand in his hand, not to be swayed and dissuaded by the things of this world. But when the noise of this world seeks to drown out his voice, sometimes I, I would encourage you to remove yourself, go to a quiet place, turn off the TV, close down Facebook. Amen. Spend some time with the Lord. Let him minister to you. Turn off all the rest of the noise. So be, be like Hezekiah that he said he turned his face to the wall. In other words, I don't, there's nothing in the world that I need to hear right now. I need to hear a word from the Lord. Amen. God will restore you. God will bring you out. God will, will mend your broken heart. God will heal your broken body. God will bring you into a place to where you can give joy, where you can give praise once again. Amen. He will bring you out of your dark place once again into the marvelous light. We thank God this morning. We, we, we hope and pray that this lesson has been helpful to all of those that have tuned in. And we pray and ask that you, that you, that you stay with us for just a little while longer as we begin in just a few minutes to move into our morning worship service. Amen. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you, God, once again for allowing us to come together in this place. We thank you, God, for your word. We thank you, God, for allowing us once again that we might look to your word, that we might be encouraged, recognizing, God, that we're living in a dark time. But the Bible says that you are light to a dark world. And so, Father, our gaze will be upon heaven. Our, our, our hope and our help lies within you. So we pray, God, that, that you will continue uh, to be our help, that you will continue to be a light unto this world, and we will continue to look to the hills from which cometh our help. Thank you, God, for being so good and so kind. We pray, God, that you would bless all of those that are listening this morning, those that might have a desire but were unable. We pray, God, that as we prepare to move from this part of our service into our morning worship service, we pray, God, we invite the visitation of the Holy Spirit. We ask you, God, that you might go with us and that your word might be heard and that your grace may abound. In the awesome name of Jesus, the Christ of God, we do pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen.